So guys, two men who left two dead and another seriously injured after a pub baby shower spiralled out of control have been jailed for murder. Anthony Benison is 25 and Nicholas Papworth is 33 were found guilty at Luton Crown Court after murdering Adam Fennelli who's 39 and Patrick Howard who's 27 in Houghton Regis in Bedfordshire. The two killers had left the men for dead in a hit and run with Mr Fennelli being knifed to death by Benison while Mr Howard mowed down by the car before also being stabbed. On the fatal night, Mr Howard and Mason Jordan, who's 27, had been drinking at the Checkers pub in the market town for a baby shower. When it shut just after midnight, they moved on to the crown where Bennis and Papworth and Mark Griffiths were drinking. Prosecutor Simon Dennison Casey told the jury that the violence that was to follow in the early hours was utterly senseless and truly extraordinary. An altercation broke out in the pub, seeing Mr Jordan throwing a punch at Mr Papworth. The brief fight saw both men on the floor before being pulled apart by their friends and leaving the venue to go home. Papworth, who had slight bruising around his eye and a small cut to his lip, was furious. Benison was behind the wheel of his silver BMW and Papworth was driving his black VW Golf as they searched for Mr Howard and Mr Jordan on the streets of Houghton Regis, eventually locating them. The court heard how the night air was filled with the sound of revving cars and shouting, with vehicles being used to drive at the pair, who by now had been joined by Mr Fennelli, who had come out of his home having heard the noise. In the violence that followed, Benison got out of his silver BMW car and armed with a knife and fatally stabbed Mr Fennelli. Mr Howard was also stabbed and struck by a car. Mr Jordan was also stabbed but despite his serious injuries saved by hospital medical staff after being rushed to hospital. After the attacks, the defendants drove away from the scene. The prosecutor said they left a scene of utter devastation. Mr Howard was instantly killed, the prosecution said, while Adam Fennelli collapsed and died in front of one of the houses along the road. Mr Jordan collapsed as he tried to attend Mr Howard in the road. So Benison denied two charges of murder, attempted murder and attempting to cause GBH with intent. And Papworth denied charges of murder, attempted murder, attempted to cause GBH with intent. And Benison was found guilty of the murders of both men and his co-defendant was found guilty of murdering Mr Howard, but he was cleared of the murder of Mr Fennelli. At the start of the trial, there was a third man who had also been in the dock alongside Benison and Papworth and he pleaded not guilty to attempted murder and attempted to cause GBH. He had been the passenger of the BMW. It was the prosecution's case that he had encouraged Benison and Papworth to inflict the violence that night. However, he was cleared midway through the trial on the direction of the judge who ruled he had no case to answer. During the trial, Benison and Papworth both elected not to give evidence. Both Benison and Papworth will be remanded in custody by the judge Michael Simon, who told them they will be sentenced on August the 3rd. Both men will serve life sentences, but the judge will have to determine the minimum number of years each must serve before they can be considered for release. I just want to say rest in peace to the victims and my condolences go out to your family. In another news story, a police hit squad dedicated to fighting car crime has recovered £1 million worth of cars and parts in the last week alone. Essex police said their stolen vehicle intelligence units had tracked down numerous high-end cars including a Rolls-Royce, Bentley Bentayga, several Range Rovers and a BMW. The force said it had recovered both complete vehicles and others which had been broken down into so-called chop shops. In recent months, the team has also located and recovered a range of Ferraris and Aston Martins. One Rolls-Royce Cullinan recovered during recent operations was worth more than £360,000 alone. The team has discovered 15 chop shops this year and intercepted nearly 50 shipping containers full of stolen carts and parts on their way out of the country. The team consisting of PC Paul Jerish and PC Phil Pentlow, supported by police staff, are going to be examining the vehicles and using the intelligence gathered to hunt down other missing cars. The seizure takes a unit's total value of vehicles recovered through 2023 to £12 million already. PC Jerish said, we know car owners across Essex rightly want to know and understand what their police force is doing about vehicle theft. The answer is the best we can with the resources we have available. Every year we track down more stolen vehicles and as we do we build up a bigger and better intelligence picture. He said the unit was dedicated to disrupting organised criminal gangs and aimed at making Essex a hostile county for car thieves to operate in. He said our work stretches beyond recovering individual stolen cars and encompasses the wider network of criminality behind each theft. 
stolen vehicle intel unit recovered or identified the record 626 stolen vehicles or parts in 2022. He said once a car is taken, thieves may look to quickly sell it on for weight under market value, strip it for parts or ship it, the whole car to parts of areas including the Middle East and Africa. He said there the vehicles are going to be sold for two to three times more than they would cost in the UK and the parts market is vast in these countries. He said thieves or handlers of the stolen vehicles may also obtain false or cloned identities then sell the vehicles on to unsuspecting members of the public in the UK or distribute them to other criminals. So during the search of this unit, officers found evidence and items of significance through the investigation, including vehicles which have been reported as stolen from London, Surrey, Thames Valley and Essex. Three men, all aged in their 20s, were arrested on suspicion of handling stolen goods and they've been released on conditional bail until August while investigations continue. Two ways. A man has been jailed for four years after a dispute over mending a broken toilet escalated into serious street violence. Lee Rooney, who's 45 off shelf, was convicted by a jury after a trial of causing GBH with intent. The prosecutor Camille Morland told Bradford Crown Court that the victim sustained a fractured cheekbone and jaw, a broken nose, chipped tooth and injuries to his eye and ear. He had been a friend of Rooney's and was at his home when they fell out on June the 9th, 2021 and the prosecutor, Ms. Morland, said there was a row over mending the toilet. The man left and came back at six o'clock when the argument spilled out into the street. Rooney grabbed his victim by the throat on the pavement. The court heard he was a lot bigger and heavier and elbowed him in the face with a crazed look on his face. He then kneed him in the face, slammed his head onto the pavement and poked him in the eye, causing a hematoma. Ms. Morland said staff and customers at a pub on the street witnessed the violence. The victim needed surgery and in his last treatment, the court, he said he had been unable to return to work as a joiner. Rooney had four previous convictions for seven offences, including assault occasion, actual bodily harm, battery and racially aggravated assault by beating. In mitigation, his solicitor said there had been a disagreement between the men with scuffling before the violence on the pavements. He said there was no ongoing hostility between them and the day before Rooney had taken the man to hospital when he was unwell. The prosecutor said the victim also had convictions and his behaviour had been erratic and there was a significant degree of provocation. Rooney was a carer for his brother and he had never been to custody before and he had suffered serious mental health problems and it was a very stressful time in his life. He said, it's been a very unfortunate set of circumstances involving the victim who was volatile and unpredictable. The judge said there was a heated argument as the men were coming out of the house and Rooney assaulted his victim on the pavement and was seen on CCTV, hitting him a number of times. Judge Gibson entirely accepted that he was a very remorseful and highly regarded by many people and Rooney will have to serve two-thirds of the sentence before he is released on licence. And guys, in this next news story, a lorry driver who searched online for the best way to avoid sniffer dogs has been jailed after admitting smuggling £23 million of cocaine into the UK. Daryl Sellers, is 33, was arrested as he returned from the Netherlands to the port of Killingholm in February. Border Force officers found 290 kilos of cocaine hidden in a shipment of frozen mushrooms. Sellers from North Lincolnshire was jailed for 13 and a half years at Grimsby Crown Court. NCA investigators discovered he was in contact with other members of a criminal network in the run-up to the smuggling attempt. The examination of his computers found that he had searched the internet for helpful tips when dealing with police sniffer dogs and how to conceal drugs from drug sniffing dogs. He was sentenced on Friday after pleading guilty to the importation of Class A drugs at a hearing on April the 11th. Lee Stanton from the NCA said organised crime groups need smugglers like sellers to bring their contraband into the UK. It was an important role in a wider criminal network and our investigation to that network continues. Working with partners like Border Force and the Yorkshire and Humber Regional Organised Crime Unit, we were determined to do all we can to target and disrupt the criminal groups involved in trafficking drugs into the UK. So guys, here's a number of stories coming out from the streets of the UK. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it.